Hey there, this is Jim Donovan. Welcome to the show. I am glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about a brain protecting love potion. A brain protecting what? Well, researchers have just made a significant stride in the race for an Alzheimer's cure, and not a moment too soon. Based on the current trends, the CDC projects that the number of Americans affected by Alzheimer's will nearly triple by 2060. That means about 14 million Americans will be afflicted with this devastating disease. The good news is a recent breakthrough study found that triggering the release of a natural hormone can reverse some of the damage caused by Alzheimer's. Today, you'll learn how you or a loved one can produce an endless supply of this hormone on your own using the power of sound. Now, Alzheimer's disease is one of the most devastating diagnoses someone can receive. It destroys your brain cells, or your neurons, ability to communicate, metabolize nutrients, and regenerate. This damage causes your brain cells to deteriorate and die. Eventually, this degradation, called brain atrophy, spreads to other areas of the brain, causing the brain to literally shrink. And over time, a person with Alzheimer's will sadly lose most of their faculties as well as their ability to function on their own. One of the main contributors to this brain deterioration is a buildup of proteins called amyloid beta plaques, also called Alzheimer's plaques. When these sticky clumps of protein accumulate in your brain, they obstruct its normal activity and function, particularly in the hippocampus, the region of the brain in charge of memory and learning. Researchers have been focused on ways to battle this damaging plaque for years. And just this past July, researchers in Japan discovered an exciting new approach for fighting Alzheimer's plaques that harnesses the power of chemicals produced naturally in the body. So what is this brain protecting love potion? Well, this breakthrough study from the Tokyo University of Science looked at the effects of oxytocin on the hippocampus. Oxytocin is often referred to as the love hormone because it's typically released during times of intimacy, like when a mother holds her baby or a couple embraces. Oxytocin promotes feelings of warmth and well-being. Previous research has already established oxytocin's positive influence on brain performance, specifically in the learning and memory centers of the hippocampus. There's also evidence that oxytocin plays a role in the formation of new memories. But no one has studied its effects on Alzheimer's plaques until now. Remarkably, in this mouse study, the Japanese researchers found that oxytocin reversed the ill effects of amyloid beta plaques by restoring the brain's signaling abilities. This allowed for memories to be formed again. According to study author Akiyoshi Saito, this is the first study in the world that has shown that oxytocin can reverse amyloid beta plaque induced impairments in the mouse hippocampus. The researchers expect these findings to be helpful in creating new oxytocin-focused treatments for use in the future. I'll be sure to keep you updated on this new exciting research, so stay tuned. In the meantime, there's no reason you can't get started boosting your own oxytocin levels starting right now. Given these promising new developments, boosting your body's own production of oxytocin is certainly worth a try. At the very least, you'll enjoy a powerful mood boost. And one of the most effective ways to encourage oxytocin production is vagus nerve stimulation. Your vagus nerve is the longest cranial nerve in the body, responsible for sending chemical message to and from the brain to all major bodily organs. Stimulation of this nerve has been shown to spur the production of oxytocin, as well as other brain-protecting chemicals like nitric oxide and acetylcholine. One of the easiest ways to stimulate the vagus nerve is through humming. Let's try a quick exercise right now. If you're in a place where you can put your hands over your neck, go ahead and do so. What I'd like you to do is to take a deep breath in, keep your lips together, and then exhale a hum. Here we go, breath in. Good. 
If you're holding your neck, you probably feel some vibration. That vibration is stimulating your vagus nerve right now. Let's do a few more. Again, breath in. Breathe in. Remember, it's okay if you can't match my pitch. As long as you're making sound, you are stimulating the nerve. Again, big breath in. Let's do one more. Breath in. Good. Rest your hands. Just take a breath in. Let it go. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Sometimes when we do this exercise, it can cause you to feel a little bit buzzy. Sometimes if you do several more repetitions, you'll start to feel a slight sense of euphoria. And this is a result of the chemicals we were talking about, specifically oxytocin, that feeling of well-being that you get from sound comes from that particular chemical. Now, if you like exercises like this, I have a whole bunch of them on my website. It's called donovanhealth.com. And if you click on the article section, you'll find so many articles with exercises in them, all free. You can check them out, donovanhealth.com. And of course, if you're looking for products that guide you through the process of these exercises, video tutorials, I've got full courses as well as audio products on the products tab at donovanhealth.com. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, and I sure hope you did, please remember to rate and review us. That really helps us to get the word out about sound health. And also, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me directly at feedback at donovanhealth.com. Well, that's it for today. I appreciate you tuning in. Remember to come see us on our social media channels on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Just search Jim Donovan Sound Health.